Hi, this is David from My Warehouse. I'm just going to talk today about products and creating products in MMS, in our management system. And you can see on your dashboard here in the middle, there's an, a button for managing products. Um, and there's also a button in the menu at the top for managing products. So let's go in and have a look at our product range. Now, what you'll notice is that each product in My Warehouse has SKU and a barcode. And these are very important because that's how we identify the products in our warehouse. Um, and also how you identify the products if you're talking to us. So uh, a SKU is just um, up to 50 characters and it needs to be alphanumeric, ideally without any spaces. And a SKU just means SKU, Stock Keeping Unit, which is just a, a name or an identifier for that product. So you can see here there's a lot of numbers followed by a certain code to mean it's either sizes or colors. Whatever makes sense to you, it doesn't matter. But every product has to have a unique SKU in your range and a unique barcode in your range. So uh, that's how we identify the products. If I wanted to limit it to certain products, um, I could do so in the search or anything with WHI underscore in it um, would just show me things that, that followed that pattern. It's up somewhere in their descriptions. Um, so what you can see here is that down the left-hand side, we have uh, identifier buttons. If I click on the identifier, I will go into that product in all of its detail. Uh, the first thing you see at the top is the warehouse product ID. That's a unique code that's uh, allocated by us, so you don't need to worry about that. Um, the SKU is, as we said, it's a stock keeping unit, so you would enter the data there. Uh, barcode is below, that needs to be unique and obviously needs to match any physical barcode that's on the product. The description information is below, that's the text information. Um, it's a nice human readable descriptor for that product. Uh, height, width, depth and weight, uh, these become very important when you're shipping, particularly internationally. Um, but also for um, storage calculations, whenever we take a storage uh, snapshot of you, um, we, to be fair, we will always just take um, the, value, the current storage space of your product range. So be sure to put the correct height, width, depth in millimeters into the product, and then we'll uh, only charge you accordingly for that space. Pack quantity, um, usually that's one, so it's just one item. But in the situation where you're shipping a pencil, that would be one. If you were shipping five pencils in a pack, so it was five pack of, or um, you know, a collection of pencils, which is a skew, you would just put five there. So it's how many items are within the individual shippable pack. Below here is customs value. Um, now that becomes important when you're shipping internationally. That's the value that we put onto electronic documentation with DHL and with FedEx, or if we automatically create um, customs forms when we ship. So that is important, and you can't have a zero value if you're shipping into internationally. So even if it's um, of no value, put something in there, one penny, one pound, whatever. Um, the product message type, um, this is because you can actually group your products into uh, a number of groups to say that they belong to a particular type of product. So on your dispatch note, if you were shipping bone china and you were shipping cutlery, then it, if you put all of your cutlery in group A, all of your, all of your china in group B, then whenever um, a, a group A product is shipped, you might choose to say, um, please, you know, thanks for buying this. You might be interested in other products in our range of X. So that it, uh, it might be in the China or because they bought cutlery, you may want to give them a certain type of message. So with my message, you can have a general overview message that's printed on everyone's dispatch note, then product specific group messages. So it's quite a powerful thing. Um, but give us a call if you want to know a bit more about that. Uh, product active just means is this product uh, shown in your uh, your main lists at the top and on any exports. Um, so if a SKU becomes discontinued and you want to change it, you would just deactivate the product here to tidy up the view. Uh, we never really delete anything from the system. It's always in our database, but it just makes it a lot ti tidier for you. Um, we now have, um, at the top here, we have a last night stock report. That will just give you an Excel spreadsheet of um, the individual items that are in our system for you. So it's a useful way to get an overview. If you don't want to do it on screen here, you can see a list of all the SKUs and a list of the overnight free stock, which means how many have we actually booked into the system ready to ship. 
This um, free stock on the right here is important because free stock means we've received it into the warehouse and it's been put away so it's ready to ship. It doesn't, that doesn't tick up just because it's arrived at the building, it has to be put away. We also have historical stock reports which are on the last day of each month and the first day of each month. So if you wanted to say how many of X did I have in the warehouse on the 31st of August, you would select that and you can download a historical stock report. Um, you can also ask us, um, or you can you can create product images if you want to, if it helps us identify the product, but that's not essential. So to create a new product, it's very simple, top right, new product, red button, um, and that will take you to the various fields for creating a new product. This uh, is the new product area. So um, SKU and barcode, as we said, it needs to be something unique, so we say it's a new SKU. Uh, the barcode needs to be unique within your range, so you can enter whatever should be there. The description is a new SKU. Height, okay, well, let's say it's two by two. It's a tiny thing, but it's 56 millimeters uh, and it's 50 grams. Pack quantity is going to be one and the customs value is one pound. Um, and we add the product and it's now in our range. So it really is as simple as that. Um, if I go to search for um, new now, new potato, what's going on there? Okay, uh, so yeah, we've got a lot of new SKUs in here. There we go, new SKU. So if I select it, you'll see the, the details shown below. So that SKU is now on the system. Um, if you have lots of SKUs that you want to add in one go, we can also upload a spreadsheet. Um, so check out our other video for that, which is um, uploading or creating multiple products. And that will just talk you through the process of, of uploading the Excel spreadsheet.